Okay, uh, we are going to look into scanf function and the return values. For instance, we uh, when user enters values, right, it goes into a buffer, pretend that there is an internal buffer. Okay, and uh, your program, this is your C program, okay. okay, so the whenever user enters values for instance say 23, uh, 43, something like that and it enter the C program when you do a scan of right it goes and reads each and every numbers or characters depending upon the the specifier either it is control D control uh, percent C percent D percent F whatever you have specified is going to look into those type of variables and if it has read the same amount of variables that you specified, it will return the return values as the number of items read. For instance, let us go ahead and uh, see how to write that. I am going to write a test.c, okay, include dot h, uh, main right uh, integer x comma y character ch let us say float f, f value float value all right so print values for x and y so if I do that and say scan of Person D, person D. Oops. Make sure that there are no spaces between the codes and the format specifier, and we know that we need to give person uh, ampersand x and ampersand y. So when you do that, the we do not know what the return status of this function scanf, how many uh, uh, items it read, we need to know right, the program has to know whether the user has entered the right amount of numbers. So for that we need to get a status, let us say I get the status equal to z, z equal to that, so I need to define that variable z, right. So, the scan of now returns the number of items read to Z. Now, how do I print it? Print F the number of items read is Z. All right. And I, then I will print the values of values of x and y red equal x comma y, right. So let me go ahead and compile this. this no, if I write it, so values for x and y, let us say 2345. If you look at here, the number of items red is two because it read two and it, which matches exactly the specifier. I do not know what happened here x comma y because we did not put the person d and person. Okay. So it because we said read two items it returned the value z equal to 2, all right. Because we entered 23 and 45, 
it read those two, uh, it returned the value 2. Let me compile this again, clear, it out, 2345, bingo. So it read two items, it has 23 and 45 exactly matches. Now what if I say for instance, I write this. I am going to write 23 and some random data. My age is 34. What happened? Number of items read is 1. Why is it? Because I tell you why. We input it, it is looking for percent d and percent d right <clears throat> initially we entered 23 and 45 it matches that and everything is good right everything is normal but we said 23, our input is my age is 34. So it initially it read 23, it matches our person D. It's now looking for person D, but you entered characters. So it errored out. It just quit the scan of function and says I can't read this anymore. But how many items it read? One. Right? So that is what it gave you that number of items is one. I read 23 but I'm not sure what happened to why. It's okay. So that is all about scan of. Let's go ahead and try one more, some more stuff, some more stuff. Let me go ahead and change the program to this Z. I'm going to read character. to ch enter value for ch and uh, I'm going to write my character I read so this time we are going to read character now all right okay so now the program is looking for two integer values person d person d followed by a character is looking for a character here okay i'm going to save it compile it okay so it enter values of for x and y 23 40 34 and a small character let's say my age what really happened is let me go ahead and uh, see if I've done it here here okay good 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 Okay, here uh, I entered 23, 34 space. See, there's a space here, right? And so the number of items read is 2 because we said look for 2 items. We said percent D, percent D, and we said percent C. We entered 23, 34, and my 
whatever right if you see the space the c language is very very picky so this person d mapped this 23 this person d mapped to 34 and this space mapped to control c uh, character c so that is what the output is you get number of items read is 2 it got 23 34 because you said integer integers are always uh, delimited by space and we said read a character and it read the uh, space in between those two characters and you got number of items 1 and characters a space is printed a space you don't see it uh, let's try one more time using a different values Twenty three, thirty four. This time I'm going to say M my H. So, what happened is we didn't give any space this time. Okay, there is no space now. Twenty three, thirty four, my H. So, what happens is person D mapped. To 23 the next person D map to 34 and then we say we said person uh, C it mapped to letter M so that's what you see in here see that so you always have to get the status of scan of all the time because you really don't know how the input may look like and accordingly you have to take action uh, that is uh, one is one of the complexities of C languages you have to write every little thing so in this case we went and found out what is the value of Z how much you read so in the, in in the real corporate world you would go and type here if z equal 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 to that is i read it to then you do something else if z equal to 1 then you do something else if z equal to 0 you say exit something like that anyway you get the picture so scan of the return values of scan of are very important you had to deal with them accordingly okay